So we have another amazing modded edition of HyperVis available for many devices. If you want to try it out on a device, you can which other things available in this case. We'll talk about quickly all of those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This one is Hydra OS and it brings you insane number of features, insane number of customizations, which brings you a lot of things. And yes, many users might love this thing on their devices. What about the settings UI? It's quite simple, quite common, nothing unique in this case, but it brings you a lot of features and customization in this section. This is also looking like a bit like Project Elixir Custom Room, if you have ever used that. Which are the other things available? For example, you will see wallpapers and style, which is available in this one. And this is looking like AOSP style. It is, I guess, ported from AOSP style UI, USP Custom Room. So if you want to use it, you can for custom on and theming, basically. We also have some options, some tweaks related to settings. For example, you can set your device name in About Phone page. So in this case, just for fun, I wrote this Mi 11X Ultra Pro Max. And yes, yeah, you can use it for sure. You will see in detailed info and specs. And I guess you will also see this in some device info apps too. So yes, you can use it in case you want to. Also have some other tweaks. You can hide the Mi account on top. Some animation related options are there. Some blur related options are also available in this case. Including these options which are available in settings, we have the option to customize the status bar. So you can customize quickly the status bar icons like Wi-Fi icon style customizations are there, mobile data icon customizations, battery icon, Voltivo, Wi-Fi, all these icons are available and many customizations are there and all these customizations are inspired from AOSP. If you have used some AOSP custom rooms, a lot of features are available here which are available in many AOSP based custom rooms. We also have some other options. For example, we have some dialer mods available. So you can customize the background of dialer. You can also customize the call lock colors and maximum brightness and some other basic things which you can go and try it out. Also, some system tweaks brings you some amazing things. For example, we have play integrity fix, which is actually one of the things which you which matters a lot. You just have to click on Play Integrity Fix. It will redirect you to the GitHub page where you can download the latest Play Integrity Fix APK and you do not have to do anything. Just simply download that, set it up and done. Play Integrity will be fixed for you. Some spoofing options are already there like unlimited Google photo storage, higher FPS in games and so on. And some options related to screenshot custom frame. You can even adjust the themes app server. So this is also quite good looking and some disable flag secure and so on. It also brings you some hidden settings which are by default hidden in Xiaomi devices. Basically, the developer options are basically easy to enable, but some options like all app customizations, app language, extra dim, quick reply, OTG settings, and also have the option for notification history and so on. So yes, this is also quite good. If you move on to some other options, it brings you customizations related to status bar lyrics modifications. I personally don't use this feature much, but it's available. So just wanted to let you know it's available in the customization section, customization hub. If you move on to some notification customization here, it brings you a lot of notification panel styles. So the good thing about this one is whenever you try to apply any one of these styles, you do not even have to restart your system UI. Things will work directly straight away. That's actually quite good, including that some minor tweaks available related to media player and so on. If you move on to status bar mods, you will see some options to customize the clock customizations. Basically, some options are there, some options related to status bar logo, which you can enable or disable or even change the logo in the status bar in case you want to. This is just available. I personally don't use it much. Some options related to quick settings also basically related to control center. There are a lot of styles available here and this also like the same status bar basically mods which if you apply any one of these options you do not have to restart your system UI. Sometimes you have to, you can do that of course but by default it's here so you can go and explore that in case you want to try it out on your device. So things are quite good looking. The custom room reminds me of MIUI Pro edition which is a long time ago. Now it was a long time when I used MIUI Pro. Things were so good, so outstanding. And that custom room is no more available. So we are into hyper OS. It also brings you some, it also brings you some more charging styles, customizations, and many more things. It's available for some of the Xiaomi devices. I'll provide the link in the description for that if you want to know more about it. This is it from today's short and simple video. Hope you like this video. If you like this, 
make sure drop a like and i will see you in the next one until then take care and i will see you in the next one